do it, baby. Hi, I'm Nathan Jones, and I would like to welcome each and every one of you today to Martin Archery's Wild Extremes. We've got a great show for you today. I'm out in Nebraska hunting turkeys at RK Outfitters with Rick Cruder, who owns and operates RK Outfitters. When I get done with my bird, I twist Rick's arm into getting in front of the camera back in the double bull blind the very next morning, and you guys will not believe the turkey encounters and the footage that we brought home from that hunt. Hey, thanks for being along. This is Martin Archery's Wild Extremes. Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. With your host, Nathan Jones. And also brought to you in part by these other great companies. The Kankakee Marsh Hunt Club. Grim Reaper Broadheads. And Carbon Tech Arrow. We've had a lot of action. My God, I love this. This segment of Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. This was early season in Nebraska at RK Outfitters. The turkeys were all hinned up and not working a call, so we set our double bull blind up and got ready to do some bushwhacking. There's more than one way to skin a cat, or in this case, pluck a turkey. We're back out here, duking it out with the turkeys. And uh, the situation we have right now is afternoon, it's about 2 o'clock. And uh, we have got, no kidding, 60 to 70, maybe more than that, right on the other side of this little ridge. We came in behind them. We saw him at a distance, circled around behind. Rick brought us in on the back side. They're going to get back into this timber to possibly feed in a little bit or later, a few, a couple, two, three hours to come back here, mill around, get ready to fly up and roost. Basically, the plan is to get one of those old hens fired up to come over here and check this, the pseudo hen out. Gobblers in tow. So, uh, it's, uh, they're definitely going to move back through here. It's just a game of patience now, and we're just going to stick it out. And uh, just any minute, I expect to see heads popping up over that rice head in this way. It's going to be cool. The first head to appear belonged not to an old gobbler, but to a young whitetail who approached our blind with mild curiosity. I should have some gobblers right behind him. The doe had barely disappeared when the first turkey slowly pecked their way into view. 
toward the double bull blind we had put in place just an hour before. Guys, how cool is this? Man? The hunt to me is far more than just a kill. It's the experience of being one with nature. There is so much to see and understand about a world that is foreign to so many. A world not just to be viewed in passing, but actually observed and then perceive what it has to offer. It might be something as simple as a bearded hen or a curious young whitetail. I can see a copper coming. There he is, he's strutting. We got a copper right here coming. Pushing those hands right out. This is awesome, guys. Right here at RK Outfitters Pan. <laughs> Look at those birds. That is beautiful. I can hear him drum. <laughs> Yes, they can change the color in their head. See those blue tops on those heads? Listen to them drum. If you, I don't know if this mic will pick it up, but that's awesome. I to him right in front of the two gobblers, too. That's right. See him right there. Okay. Brian, there's a new bird. There's a third bird coming up there. The hunt will continue when Martin Archery's Wild Extremes returns. Okay. Welcome back to Martin Archery's Wild Extremes. The Wild Extremes crew is in Nebraska hunting with RK Outfitters, hunting Merriam turkeys. This is the end of March, the first day of the Nebraska turkey season, and we are surrounded by turkeys. We are surrounded with turkeys here. They're moving back up this draw just like Rick thought they would do. What we did, we came through and found the roosting trees, or the, the trees that had the most droppings and feathers underneath them. And we got between the roost trees and where these birds were feeding in this open field, about three, four hundred yards out this way. And as you're hearing, we got gobblers, we got hens by the score right here. This is cool. Even though the gobblers were very much interested in the hens, and put all of their effort into enticing a look, the hens barely gave the strutting toms a passing glance. At this time of the season, the gobblers were proving to be more of a hindrance than help, even proving to be a bit of a nuisance.
We got us a Mary. Right here at RK Outfitters. What we were witnessing was an extreme example of survival of the fittest. After my turkey went down, the other toms spent some time beating up on it, and then turned on each other to straighten out the brand new pecking order. Rick, could you believe those birds? Yeah. <laughs> Man, they were everywhere, weren't they? <laughs> we put that we took, put the double bull up, but you had been in here. Obviously, you've hunted this for yeah. several years, and you knew that the birds going back to the roost kind of funneled in here. So yeah, actually, absolutely. I mean, you did you actually called and that more more than anything, maybe just calmed them down, but just let them think there's turkeys ahead of us. Yeah, exactly. And then actually, we just shot, hunted them in a funnel here. Yeah. On That's the way to the roost. It was really and and it's kind of it, it it's wild to watch these birds do their natural things that they do and they're keyed up on this bird not even paying any attention to any of the hens or you yeah and for whatever reason that was their focal point and you wouldn't have called them off her right no way right. and if we hadn't been in the funnel which gets back to knowing your species yeah. and hunting with a great outfitter that knows his species like right. yourself and not to swell your head but you do <laughs> and knowing the ground That's, and knowing the ground yeah. absolutely spending the time out here with these animals yeah. and seeing what they do day in and day out this isn't going to be much of a tracking job because I saw him go down over here. So let's, did I. Let, yeah, <laughs> let's go look at him. He was 30. The other birds were like 35 yards. Oh. So I'm going to shoot the 30-yard bird yeah, every day because <laughs> I'm not that good. That was the exit wound. Wow. Shot him into the body. These, I'm telling you guys, for all you guys out there, these Grim Reaper broadheads absolutely are devastating. I cannot thank you enough for this. Oh, this is... Welcome. This was so kind of uh, you and Julie to invite the Wild Extremes bunch out here and uh, yeah. have me and Brian Guffey out. That was, you know, tremendous. And, and it's yeah. absolutely an honor to hunt with you, man. Well, this same is, here. This is great. We've done this. We haven't got to chase turkeys, but we got to hunt together before. And absolutely. It's fun, so. It is, absolutely. And I am proud of this bird. And, and, uh, and like I say, just to get out, and the numbers you have out here, number one, is incredible. But due to the numbers, then you're able to watch these things do yeah. what they do. Yep. And that is so cool to watch two huge toms come up spitting and drumming, kind of trying to herd a hen around, yeah. and just watch <laughs> nature at work is just awesome. Pretty neat. It is, and I idea. love it, man. And yeah. I am proud of this bird. This is a, you know, a great Marion and a beautiful bird. And uh, for all you guys that uh, want to uh, take the slam, I'll tell you what, Rick is the guy to come for your Marion. Because uh, he has got them by the score, by the hundreds. You do actually, yeah, honest, honestly, and that's no exaggeration. Yeah. Here in, in Wyoming, both. Ex I yeah, mean, that's right. Yeah, Wyoming's loaded too. Uh, we, the neat thing about Nebraska is it's an early season. We get to hunt them in the end of March. This is March 25th. Yeah. When the rest of you guys are sitting at home waiting for April, me and Brian have already killed our birds. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So this is this is just uh, this is awesome. I think tomorrow. I'm going to try to video you take one? I think we just might do that. Well, why don't we? This segment of Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Second day in the Nebraska season. Lucky enough to jump in the blind for myself this morning, so as you can tell, there is a bunch of birds sitting out here in front of us, and uh, we're hoping that these guys fly down and get some strutting action going on out here in front of the blind. They're coming. I know what this looks like, but no, we were not in a pen. 
This is Western River Bottom Turkeys, and today was definitely as good as it gets. The problem today was not, how do we get a turkey close enough for a shot? The problem today was, how do we get the gobblers behind the one we want to shoot to clear out? It doesn't matter if you kill something, if you get an opportunity to harvest something. It's being out here listening to these cranes and watching these birds strutting on the limb and doing the things that they're supposed to do. Uh, special deal, really special. And uh, it's actually my first bird in about four years. As you guys know, we do this for a living. We, we were lucky enough to get to take people out in the woods every day. A Grim Reaper Broadhead is definitely gonna be a recommendation on my list uh, for guys when they wanna know what to shoot these birds with. A beautiful bird. Um, real typical of our birds out here, these beards tend to get broke off on the river bottom because they crawl through so much brush and downfall and, and uh, so they get kind of wispy, but uh, it's a good two-year-old bird, and, and I'm tickled. It's a beautiful day. I want to thank Nathan again for uh, being out here with me to enjoy this hunt. It's been a blast. Thanks for going hunting with me today, and a big thank you to Rick and Julie Kruger of RK Outfitters for hosting Martin Archery's Wild Extremes. I'll tell you what, that was an incredible turkey hunt, one I might add that I won't forget. If you're a turkey hunter looking for that one-of-a-kind turkey hunt, give Rick a call. Either at the number we ran during the show or go to the website wildextremes.tv, click on the Outfitters page where you can find out all about RK Outfitters. Or you can just link directly to them. You'll want to be here next week where my brother Tracy gets in the double bull blind out in South Dakota on a water hole waiting for his first pronghorn animal. And then we're going to revisit RK Outfitters once again with crew member Brian Guffey. He's in the double bull waiting to get his first turkey with a bow. It's a great hunt you guys won't want to miss. This has been Martin Archery's Wild Extremes. Martin Archery's Wild Extremes has been brought to you by Martin Archery making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. 
Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. And also in part by these other great companies. Grim Reaper Broadhead, Carbon Tech Arrows, and the Kankakee March Hunt Club. Additional products have been provided by these companies. Man, Charlie, buddy, you got us a monster. This has been a Wild Serenade production.